Hello and welcome to the Autumnity Mod Spotlight. So this mod adds a maple forest biome. See we've got some maple leaf carpets here. You can see the particle effect from the trees and the various different coloured trees. If we strip the bark of the maple log, we get a sappy maple log. We can then right click and we're going to get a sap bottle. We can then cook it, it's going to give us a syrup bottle. So then with the syrup bottle, we can make a pancake. Autumnity adds maple forest, maple forest hills, and pumpkin fields. So here I am in the pumpkin trees, a little bit higher up. You can see the various colored trees. This incidentally is the highest mushroom you can get, 13 blocks high. So one thing that we've got here is the snail. The snail is the star of the mod. I've always been a big fan of snails. So snails, they can go up one block. So we're going to give them a brown mushroom. And they're going to generate snail slime. So you can eat stem as well. I don't know if that's a, it's a bigger meal. Yeah, I guess it just must be between five and six. You can see it does actually slow you down when you go through it. And it does work. Okay, you can see there's the baby snail. And you can see they've got the behavior. The, the regular Minecraft animal behavior. That's pretty awesome. But it doesn't look like they're actually going to eat directly off the... Uh, they're not going to eat blocks. So I'm just going to quickly create some suspicious stews. And I just want to show you the crafting because it doesn't tell you, obviously, once you do it. So these are going to be regen potions. So you don't need any tool and you can pick up the snail slime. And we can make the snail slime block. Because they don't like... Yeah, you see, there we go. So as long as they've got enough space to eat the snails, but you can see, that's why... You can see that these are trying to get out. So as soon as you do this, they can immediately leave, right? Oh, interesting defensive. So it does actually have the defensive thing. So taking a look at the snail slime block again, if we chuck, say, our axe here, we'll actually get stuck in the slime block. We can also use it, kind of a bit like monkey bars, is how this is, and then we can press shift, and then we'll drop. Okay, if we place these slime blocks next to water, or a wet sponge, I believe, as well, you can see they actually, that's neat how the, uh, the sound file, is, different sound file is used as well. So this becomes a slippery surface instead of sticky. Okay, let's try some breeding with the uh, snails now. So remember, we still have regeneration suspicious stews here, which you can't use for breeding. Also, you just use regular. So we'll use regular and the same breeding XP that you might expect. About 10 seconds now for this snail to grow. There we go. And you can see we get the snail shell piece. We can use eight snail shell pieces to make a snail shell chest plate. Plus five armor compared to the six for iron. And also if we sneak, we're going to get resistance three and also knockback resistance. If we get some snail slime, when we put it into just a regular awkward potion, we're going to get the potion of extension. So let's go back to this suspicious stew we made earlier. So we're going to take the suspicious stew regeneration for eight seconds. Potion of extension. See, it's gone up to twenty. So what this can do is actually pretty. It's a pretty elegant solution in terms of because this the suspicious stew doesn't really last long enough. So to actually do that, it's on any active potion effect will be extended. So returning back to the maple forest, if we can also find the foul berries. So we go into them, you can see we're going to get this effect called life stasis for 20 seconds. So now, if we take some damage, we're unable to heal any hearts. So you can see our hearts are stuck from when we took the damage until the effect goes. And only then will we begin to regenerate health. Okay, so if we want to harvest the foul berries, we can also just right click with them. And we will get the foul berries. Unfortunately, the foul berries have got an 80% chance of inflicting hunger when you eat them. 
So what you may want to do is you may want to craft into a foulberry pie, which is less likely to do that. So we break a few more of these bushes. We can get a foulberry leaf. And the foulberry leaf can be used in a brewing stand. And that will create the potion of anti-healing. So it would be very useful, say, a splash potion for the Ender Dragon, for instance. You could also put a fermented spider eye on top of the potion of anti-healing. And that's going to turn your life stasis potion into regeneration potion. So regeneration potions without gas tears. And just as, just as a last little point to mention for this mod, there's also another mod, which is, I think, by the same author, called Berry Good. And that will get you a couple of things. One being this recipe, the foulberries into foulberry pips. But that will give me the ability to plant the berries again. This lets us see the growth stages of the bush. And this mod is very small. It just has, it just has that recipe. And then we've got sweet berry mints made from sweet berries and raw pork chop. Uh, and then we can cook that in smoker or campfire to make sweet berry meatballs. That is all for Automity. Really, really cool mod. And thanks for watching.